Chapter 6, Learning Objective 3. Explain and calculate lower of cost and net realizable value inventory adjustments. In addition to the adjusting entry to record the shrinkage of merchandise inventory, there's an additional adjusting entry to be considered at the end of an accounting period when calculating the cost of goods sold and ending inventory values for the financial statements. The accounting rules require that inventory be valued at the lesser amount of its laid down or landed cost and the amount for which it can likely be sold, its net realizable value or NRV. This rule is known as the lower of cost and net realizable value or LCNRV rule. The laid down or landed cost includes the invoice price of the goods, less any purchase discounts, plus transportation in, insurance while in transit, and any other expenditure made by the purchaser to get the merchandise to the place of business and ready for sale. As an example, a change in customer demand may mean that inventories become obsolete and need to be reduced in value below the purchase cost. This often occurs in the electronics industry as new and more popular products are introduced. The lower of cost and net realizable value can be applied to individual items or groups of similar items as shown here. This business stocks two types of paper, white and colored paper. Individually, their total costs are $1,250 and $1,400 respectively, whereas the net realizable values are $1,200 and $1,500 respectively. If we apply the LCNRV rule for each product individually, the white paper should be valued at the lesser of the two amounts, which is the NRV of $1,200. The colored paper would be valued at the $1,400 cost because its original cost is lower than the current NRV. The total inventory cost of both products is $2,650, whereas based on NRV, the total value should be $2,600. Therefore, an adjustment of $50 is required to reduce the value of white paper from $1,250 to $1,200. Alternatively, we can also apply the rules on all paper and inventory combined instead of on an individual basis. The total cost of the paper is $2,650, whereas the total NRV is $2,700. Therefore, on a group basis, the lesser value is the $2,650 cost, therefore the inventory does not require an adjustment. So as we saw, depending on the calculation used, the value in ending inventory will either be $2,600 or $2,650. Under the unit basis, the lower of cost and net realizable value is selected for each item, $1,200 for white paper and $1,400 for colored, for a total LCNRV of $2,600. Because the LCNRV is lower than cost, an adjusting entry must be recorded with a debit of $50 to cost of goods sold to increase the expense, with a corresponding decrease to merchandise inventory to lower the inventory value on the balance sheet. The purpose of the adjusting entry is to ensure that inventory is not overstated on the balance sheet and that income is not overstated on the income statement. If white paper and colored paper are considered a similar group, the calculations show that they have a combined value of $2,650 and a combined NRV of $2,700. LC NRV would therefore be $2,650. In this case, the cost is equal to the LC NRV, so no adjusting entry would be required if applying that rule on a group basis.